Greetings and salutations. Okay, this is part 16 of my tutorial. Um, I've just leveled up to level 13, and I mean level 30, <laughs> and we've just become a captain. Um, that happened just from doing uh, duty officer assignments. I haven't done any additional missions since the last tutorial video, but you know, I go here and I select these. That's always a good idea to do that, just to get a bit of bonus stuff. So I'm, I'm get, going along good with collecting um, Delithium and Reputation marks and all this stuff. I'll show you how I got that in a minute. Anyway, uh, getting to level 30 means you get a new ship. You get a new trait slot and permission to buy next rank of ships. Admiral Quinn auto hails you and says, come and meet me to get promoted. So you have to go to staff, um, you know, back home to the soul system, to earth space dock. All right, so let's go talk to Admiral Quinn. Hello. And he says, congratulations, Captain. You have conquered Yet another milestone in your journey through Starfleet. In light of your contributions, I'm authorizing a new starship for you. I know you'll do great things with a more powerful vessel. Speak to this lieutenant at the shipyard to requisition a new starship. Goal members get a new retrain token or something. No chance to distribution skill points. Okay. Right, yep. Yeah. And we get a free costume change. Okay, so let's go do that. Before I do on my way, I'm just going to talk to a few things I want to show you around Earth Space Talk around here, actually. Talk to Temporal Agent Philip Cray. Greetings. How can I assist you today? If you've or, done or in the future. a Delta recruit, um, which I have, then you can unlock bonus rewards from that person, which then get given to your other non-Delta recruits. And I recently unlocked an extra one, so I've now got something called... A paradox corrector that I can unlock. Yeah, and that's an epic ground device that restores your health and that of your neighbors and stuff. Right. Restores 50% max hit points to team. Anyway, also I can unlock um, this fleet project's jumpstart account wide. Oh, I, right. Ah, oh, 50 fleet marks I just got. And. 5,000 fleet dilithium voucher. Oh, that's awesome. I think that was because I got to level 30. Um, also, Romulan mishi, mi, mission. <laughs> uh, yes. So, unlocking more stuff here. Vigilance Klingon. Oh, Wasteland All Factions. These are more ones that I've unlocked recently because I've been trying to get some of the levels done on the Delta recruits. Alright, so there you go. That's heaps of fleet marks. Oh, there's this one still. Sweet, so I'm on my way to being able to buy stuff from my fleet. Um, now, there's a, something I just found out about recently, actually. I wish I'd known about it. Um, there's a person over here where you can go get dilithium and stuff. If you've got contraband, which you can get from your duty officers. You walk over here, talk to this Cation, turn over contraband and it's a duty officer assignment which rewards you 2,000 dilithium. So that's awesome. Transfer prisoners, you can give them prisoners too and make some, get some stuff. Oh, I don't have any prisoners yet, okay. And I don't have a def defeated changeling yet either because we haven't gotten to that mission where you get that. But So it's good to know about that person and come over here every single day and get 2,000 dilithium for free if you just do that. All right, so first let's run over to the uh, get the new ship. Um, I might have, and I'm not sure about this, I'm going to have to check the sea store and stuff, but I might have a starship that is a different one than the one I can get for free. But I'm not sure, that could be not to the next level maybe, I'm not, we'll find out in a minute. Um, okay, anyway, so this is the person we're supposed to go talk to, Lieutenant Laurel, starship requisitions Com promotion congratulations on making captain admiral the admiral has given his blessings for you to choose a ship we'll do that anyway even if i'm going to get another one all right so browse selection go up to there and click on captain because i'm a captain now as you can see i can have any one of these three ships 
All right, now I'm pretty sure I'm going to choose Voyager. But I just want to have a look here too. Just to know, what is it? Is it? Are we at TF3 now? No, there's no free starships for me on T3. Ah, uh, T4. At T4 I can have this sort of upgraded um, defiant ship, but it's called something else. Ooh, uh, anyway, okay, so that's enough looking at that. I think I'll definitely choose this just because getting into the science ships and I promised at the beginning of this video that I would choose some science ships. Look how you can also make it look different. There's different uh, skins for it. Intrepid. But yes, I'm a big massive Voyager fan so and this character is kind of a bit of a Voyager character because she's like seven. Okay, let's buy that one. Long range science vessel. Done. Alright, so now we'll go to Starship. Select, select ship. Select your ship. And here it is. Chicago. Let's rename it to... Intrepid. And we will click Ready Starship. And it's just automatically switched all my stuff over. So that's perfect. It's got the same number of weapons and stuff, but we need to put more things in these slots. I've got more slots. So let's have a look. What can I put here? I can I could use the grappler again, because I haven't got much actually. And I could use that. That's all I've got. Boosting the shields. Alright, now I've switched to polar on. So we use that. And I've got some Amiga upgrades, but I'm not going to waste that on, on this. That's all stuff we can just throw away. But I should do that later. Oh, there's a secondary deflector that it came with. But I had got crafted one, which is does a boost to flow capacitors and shield emitters. Now, some of my stuff is ready to upgrade because I previously did upgrades to it. So let's see if this, I think I might have used an Omega on this one. Yeah, rarity upgrade. All right, sweet. So put that there. Yep. Get rid of the worthless one. Now we've got to do that, check all the upgrades. You should be paying for upgrades in here. Now, if you want to know where to get the upgrades, you craft them from the R&D section. You've got to get to level 5 to do basic ones. Or there's a person in Starship equipment um, a few meters from here. Um, that's that one. This is the one I got from the mission. I've now got the full space set. It, that is from that last mission, Time and Tide. Oh, except for the torpedo launcher, which I can't unlock until I get to level 50 on this character. Or 40, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, but I did... You get free upgrade on that one because it came from... I didn't have to pay for it. because So if you had one that... Uh, what are these? The chronometric um, weapon set from the last mission, then you'll be able to do that too. What the hell's going on? Why is it all gone white? It's annoying. Whoever's doing that, I don't know. Did I click something that made that happen? How come I've gone cloaked? That was weird. I wish people wouldn't do things like that. Anyway, upgrade item. go up in rarity. No, it's already gone up one. <clears throat> okay, because we're not in space, I've got to unequip these things to upgrade them. It's pretty annoying, actually. I think it used to be like that. It's a new bug that they can't fix. 
I am going alright with the equipment on this low level character. I will need to set up the stations and set up the powers for the stations and show you how to do that and how to train your bridge officers with different powers so that you can get the best out of your build. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah, we're already upgrade on the warp core. Alright, I'm not going to waste any more of my daily, um, Amiga marks on Amiga upgrades on this. See, I could do that, but no, I don't. I'll have to just get a shield upgrade later from my other character and bank shared bank account. Upgrade. Oh yeah, rarity went up. Sweet. All right, now because that one ran up in rarity, I'm going to stick it over there on the front of the ship. And these are the other two 360 degree weapons. I, I chose to get both. So this person has one um, heavy turret. It's a 360 degree one from the Tide and Tide mission. So it's, even though on the set it just says one 360 degree chronoton weapon, right? Polar on, I mean, chronometric polar on 360 degree energy weapon. It can be both of them, or either one, I, either or, or both. So that's pretty cool. So because this space set was offered to this character at a low level, and because it upgrades all the way to Mark 12 for free, and I only have to pay for upgrade up beyond Mark 12, I thought, well, in instead of doing anti-proton, I should do this. So that's what I'm doing. I, I forgot I already upgraded that one. I think I put some upgrades into these consoles here. Yep. Okay. Um, that's flow capacitors, power transfer rate. I mean. That's good to help with DPS. I've got this one here that's a uh, shield emitter amplifier. Helps with the shields, obviously. Okay. VIII. And this is the last one that I can upgrade, I think. I don't want to waste Amiga as I'm upgrading that. But it's good to get an extra 11.2% polar on damage. This one also provides, uh, as you can see, 15% extra polar on damage, 2% weapons power, 22 starship particle generators, and 15 torpedo weapons. So I might use torpedoes on this person. Anyway, the next thing we need to do is the skills, because the skills are right here. Now, uh, Cryptic has said that they're going to revamp this system, so I'll have to do a new tutorial for it once it's um, being revamped. Um, as you can see, we're, not, we're a captain, but it's not yet unlocked any captain things. If I wait until I do another mission, actually, I can start spending it on that. But here you can see how I've, um, I've put heaps of stuff into flow capacitors and power isolators, because that helps with your DPS as well. Particle generators, because I plan to do a fair few sciencey things. Warp core efficiency and warp core potential. Subsystem repairs. Yeah, I won't put anything into there. Right, now let's do the, tra uh, the stations. Now um, let's look at the first. Let's look at the um, the rarity of these people. They're it's better if they're like purple in the text there because it means they're rare. See how this person's purple? All right, this person is blue. Green is worse than blue. So we have a green engineering and a green science. If we look down to here, I won uh, a purple tactical person. But I've already got a pur purple tactical person, don't I? And there's only one tactical starship station on this. Um, so don't worry about it. I'll just leave it there. As you can see, I have actually already trained them to do other, other things. I like tactical team normally, but I also like beam fire at will because if you've got more than one enemy, you really need it. So I'm going to leave it like that. All right, now this is the one for the uh, engineering. Let's see if we can change that. Um, 
engineering team one. Powered weapons, yes, it's always good to have powered weapons for DPS. All right, now we've got two science, because it's a science ship, we can use two different science people, so it's good we've got two science people. So we'll just have to make a decision about um, which one to put where. I think we'll put her there, and we'll put that person there. And we've got all different abilities, but let's just have a look at what we could do. Tachyon Beam 2 is better than Tachyon Beam 1. So we'll change that to maybe transfer sh shield strength. Tractor beam can't do anything about that one, it's stuck on it. Um, scramble sensors, gravity well. Or maybe I should change it, it's always good to check. What have I got on this person? Viral matrix, gravity well. Uh, I think I'll leave it like that, okay. Um, this person can do Jam sensors. It's on jam sensors. Tachyon, you don't want that twice. Okay. Alright, well, that's just slotted, but I think I might want to change some of those. So, what you do is you've got to go for a little run in Earth Space Dock back to where we were before. And there is a, um, whatever you call it, a, a person who can give you training manuals. You buy training manuals with energy credits. You can also dismiss, or you can turn um, people you get that you don't want to keep into that as well. Anyway, go over here and do bridge officer training. Open the store up. Open up that box we had a minute ago with the stations. All right, now I'm happy with all that, I think. Unless I want to put that to shields. Maybe I don't have enough shield heals. Engineering. Vara skills. Oh, you got to click promote on your officers as well. <sighs> Power of shields number two. Power of shields two. Buy. And then you go here and learn it. Bang. Anyway. We can choose between it if we don't like it, if we think we need more weapons power later. Um, Alright, I don't like tra tra tractor beam, so t -rail, skills, and then click science space over there. So tractor beam, second one, oh, she needs to be promoted too. And... Oh, Tycon's Rift 1, I wonder if that's in here. Have a look. Tycon's Rift 1. Okay, bye. We can learn that. Just going back here and check that again. I thought I'd want to transfer shield strength on one of these. Okay. Science t Oh, no. Transfer shield strength. No, I don't want that one there anymore. Give me science team... 2, 1. Back here. Science team 2... Can we find that one? Science team two, okay. Like science team two is better than science team one. So if it says two, it's better than one. If it says three, it's better than two and one, you know? Okay, uh, scramble sensors, number three. So what would we prefer than scramble sensors? Going back here and looking and going, well, I don't need, right. Switch that over. So we've got, Shields, shields, and a bit of hull fix your body up, right? Um, on this person, we should probably go back to where oh, we've got to change that one. Okay. I think we, we, tachyon beam is a really good thing to use. Uh, one thing to consider is what you're um, with a science ship. 
is what your secondary deflector boosts. So this one boosts Tachyon Beam, Charge Particle Burst, uh, Energy Siphon, Tycon's Rift, Viral Matrix, and dis Destabling Resonance Beam. So those are the things we should do as our damaging science abilities. So Scramble Sensors was not one of those. We've got Tachyon Beam there. So we've got to choose something else here uh, that I just read out. Destabling Resonance Beam 2. That's a cool one. I'm just looking for it. It's not there. <laughs> They're not always here, so that sucks. Uh, what else could I use? It said viral matrix. I don't usually use that one. Oh, charged particle best. Is that in here? Oh, there you go. Number one, but it's number two. Okay. This one's cool actually, I like this one does good effect in space. Gravity well. Was gravity well one of the ones this does? Look. Tachyon beam check, we've got that. Charged particle burst check, yes, I just did that. Energy siphon, yes, we've got that. We need Tycon's Rift. Tycon's Rift is a good one. Kills them. Did it say gravity well? Wait, let me just try to... I'm um, sorry, it's a bit early in the morning for me. No, it does not say gravity well. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, Terrell skills. Right. Yeah, what did we want again? Tycon's Rift 3. Oh, no. We won't be able to get that. Tycon, Tycon's Rift 2. Can't change the third one from this store. Not the person has a viral matrix. Hmm. We'll just leave it. Anyway, let's go to that other person and we'll give them that. Oh look, they need to be promoted. Yeah, let's use Can't use it on that one. Um I like hazard emitters. That's good to keep your ship alive. Okay, so it gives you forty five hit points over fifteen seconds, continuously removes debuffs for fifteen seconds plus 6.7 all damage resistance ratings for 15 seconds so that's very good uh, let's just read that deflector again and do I want to enable any of the other ones now I've got tachyon beam, I've got charged particle and I've got energy siphon and I'm just not using Tycon's rift in this build oh well um, so what might happen later though is that through the, the here the duty officer system you can win more bridge officers right and so if i win someone who's got tycons with three then i can turn them into a manual and then that would be cool refugees it's very important you shouldn't skip this part of the game in fact you can level all the way up to level 60 just by doing your duty officers and um, yeah i'm going along right with the uh, r d stuff as well for a low level person Alright, so that's about that. That's how I'm going to have the ship set up for now. Uh, yeah, might as well just get rid of some junk. I'm not going to do a mission in this video. It's just simply a tutorial on how to change your starship at level 30, captain level. And also on how to set up a science ship, how to do uh, bridge officers' um, abilities for your stations. 
Um, here's a manual that I created before, see, from turning somebody else into a manual. And that's just sitting there. Um, so if I wanted to spend that, then I'd go to this person, check out here, but she's already got it, so I can't. But if I had someone else who didn't have it, anyway. So yeah, that's how you set that up. Um, I can't use two tactical officers, so there's no per can't do anything with this person that I've got right now. I did something. That's right, traits. Oops. I have already chosen my third one. I've chosen, um, I mean, fourth, sixth one. Mental discipline on ground and beam weapon damage. Well, you know what? I'm changing my mind about that one. Because I just realized um, it's got a turret as well, and that might benefit from it. So instead, there's this trait. It's really good for adding your DPS up because critical chance and critical severity help with your DPS. So this one, operative, increases that. Critical chance gives you 1% extra critical chance and 2% critical severity. Now that's very important on a lower level character who can't equip consoles that benefit, that, that improve those things. Um, and as you can see, my everything else I've got is tanky. So increased defenses, hull repair, star, maximum um, hull hit points, bulkhead technician, shield technician, warp theorist. It's good probably to try to have a, a combination of both healing things and Know, extra wet damage and stuff like that. Um, particle. Oh, maybe I should choose this one. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to swap d defenses for this one. Astrophysicist. Uh, starship particle generators, flow capacitors, and sensors. Because I've got a science ship right now and we've just put all those science abilities on the ship, you want to have that. Now, you know what we should do next? Let's like do it as a little starship review. Don't we just love the Intrepid class starship? Oh my God, it's so awesome. So what I would want to do, isn't it cool how that secondary deflector matches the picture of the secondary deflector? Yay. Okay, it is my favorite starship that's canon. Okay, I love it more than the galaxy class. Yes, and I have a model of it that I built, a real life model that I painted and I've had it for 15 years, you know, since like the show was actually on. I was obsessed with Voyager when it was on. It's always been my favorite Star Trek series until, you know, years and years later, um, after Enterprise finished, like about five or five years after Enterprise finished or something, I watched rewatched Enterprise a couple of times and um, now I love Enterprise. Like, I think that's the best too, but because like Enterprise has got better production quality and I really love the NX class Starship as well. But Voyager's like out of the next generation, it's different, three different series and all that. It's the best. And, you know, everyone bags out the JJ movies. Maybe what I actually wished had happened was that we had a Voyager movie instead of the JJ movies. You know, there should have been like a Voyager slash Deep Space Nine next generation all put together to make some epic, you know, battle that could have been like a Star Wars movie with all the next gen different people. Wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, well. Life goes on. Maybe I should go to the tailor and update her outfit, put some more borgy stuff on her. Oh, she has got some stuff. I'll put um, it's got a thing over there and a thing there. Get away from the bridge officer training. Yep, so look at Earth, isn't it beautiful? What's that person about? Let's go talk to them. Oh, that's about creating fleets. If you get two people together, you can create a fleet. And that's my fleet. You need to give them stuff. Ah, oh, sweet. I can give you heaps of that. Oh, look, I'm going to earn heaps of that. Yay. Oh, I made it finish. Isn't that awesome? So you should regularly go into your fleet and donate to them. It is a good way to... Um, don't get tricked into giving fleet credits. I did that the other day in... I had a hundred thousand fleet credits. I was ready to buy something from the fleet store, and then I gave it all away by mistake. It's fleet marks. Don't get confused between fleet credits and fleet marks. Okay. Well, I think that'll wrap it up for this video. Oh no, no, that's right. I wanted to do it PVE. What am I saying? Uh, I want to demonstrate the ship. Federation fleet alert. These don't take long. 
And I think it's all levels that go into it too. Oh, I will need to set up my, um, you know, like buttons along the bottom. So we'll quickly try to get that done before the uh, fleet alert starts. Otherwise I'll be stressing to do that. Um, solve system is so laggy in the space. Come on. No, mm -mm -mm. oh, look. Okay, quickly get rid of the weapons that fits down there. I've accepted that. It's going to start in seven seconds. You can turn auto fire on for all these. Right, click on them all. All right. I'll just quickly check that all the buttons are down there. When um it reloads, I think there'll be like thirty seconds we have to wait for this to start. Like a countdown timer. Now oh, there she is, intrepid class, maximum warp velocity of warp 9.975. Bio new gel packs, 37 seconds we've got. All right, so look at these things down here. Now they've all gone all over the place and that's where I didn't want them. So I like to have all the yellow things in a row. Oh no, I actually also like to have that. I'm gonna make it a three tier. Oh no, look at all that cr junk that we don't want. So I can I know the difference between things that are um, bridge officer abilities. Okay. Shit, I've got to quickly make sure I've got. All oh damn it! I think there was a button there I didn't have. I think a chronometric energy button. Cool. Oh look, red alert! Red alert! Hurry up! Oh, chronometric energy converter. Put that button there. Shoot. Alright, I've got to try to do two things at once here. Quickly finish checking these. Was this down here? Nope. Uh, that button is that button. You get a button from that. Uh, I need to pay attention. I'm not doing a very good job of this right now. Chronometric polar on turret. Oh yeah. Cool. Nardian evasion. Ramming speed, don't want that anyway. Scramble sensors. See that how it spits that thing off? Shield capacitor, subspace, temporal negotiator, yeah, I got that, okay. Alright, looks like I got all my buttons. Alright, now let's put uh, weapons and shields. Right, let's zoom in a bit. Oh, let's get some loot. I mean, lowering. I really want to try this button. What happens when you do it? Ooh, look at that. Cool graphics. Okay, I know I'm doing the wrong thing here. Stealing loot instead of battling people. Tragic. Intercept. Maybe I'm going too fast, huh? Uh oh, now I'm going too slow. Looks like we're not going to get to them in time. Sorry about that. Alright, I'll try to fight focus now. <laughs> Alright, let's go get those guys. Maximum impulse. As you can see, the weapons look very cool. Polaron weapons really do look nice, and that um, special weapon set looks just awesome, doesn't it? Okay, I've got a weapons energy amplifier now. This should get them killed fast. Ah, oh, damn it. The other guys are killing everybody before I even get to it. Siege group, ETA. Alright, so that was the small waves. Now we're going to have the big group. Pretty cool. <laughs> Clay completed criminal. Oh, 
There's a the bad guy. Oh, look, my hull. Oh, well. You got to see how look cool the weapons look. That was really awesome. And look at this ship. Isn't it just beautiful? Oh. So what I'd really like to have is this ship with the Borg set on it. All right. So you get all these extra little Borgy things put all over it. And it will just be like the uh, episode when Seven of Nine comes to Voyager and, um, you know, the ship gets assimilated. I never understood why Balana Torres wanted the ship to be unassimilated after that. Like, why did she want it back to normal? Didn't they make it better? I can't put that on you. It's too high for me. Okay. That was pretty cool, though. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video from the Tim of Borg Show, Unimatrix 01 Productions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Live long and prosper. And uh, may the force be with you. Always.